And so maybe about 30 seconds goes by and I hear uh, a panicked screech. And I was like, oh God, I'm not fit for this. Whatever is going on in this bathroom. There's just a series of thoughts. I was like, Jennifer, are you okay? And she was like, Sorry, mother African time. Thank you for joining. So some time ago, I was a brand spanking new CNA. Yes, this is another CNA story. And I was working on a telemetry floor. And so sometimes what will happen is we can sometimes get psych patients. We can sometimes get OB patients. We can get different specialty patients on our unit if they are there for a cardiac issue. So they'll come with a mental health illness such as schizophrenia, or they'll come being, you know, 36 weeks pregnant, but we're not treating their mental health. We are not addressing a obstetric issue we are addressing a cardiac issue and because of that they need to come to our floor telemetry and so again i know i've mentioned this in a couple of my previous stories but as a cna i don't really need a whole lot of information to get my job done however when things start to pop off honestly all hands on deck it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what your specialty is it doesn't matter what your profession is all hands on deck and let me tell you some shit popped off anyways so we had an ob patient an obstetric patient a pregnant patient on our unit who was there because she had a history of cardiac issues she was young however you know your issues don't come to you and interview and ask you, hey, is it okay if we choose you to be an issue for? You don't choose this, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, she was definitely in good spirits and high spirits. And so I was going about my night. I got report from the previous CNA and sometimes we do get report from the nurse as well because you know sometimes the CNA doesn't always give you the information that you need. Uh, yeah, so anyways, one of them, obviously, one of the patients, she told me to please keep an eye on because she's a jumper. So my focus was, and when I say jumper, I mean that she was a confused patient who obviously didn't know that she was in the hospital and kept on thinking that she had to get up to get things done. And that of course put her at a higher risk to get up and then fall and make everybody look bad. My focus was primarily on Miss Jumper. We can call her Stacy, okay, Stacy the jumper, the 80 year old jumper. I did everything that I had to do, took my vital signs, made sure that I gave water to people who were allowed to have water, changed beds, changed patients. I did my job and then I went on over to Mrs. Uh, Stacy the jumper to make sure that she wasn't getting out the bed and lo and behold, Stacy was up. Stacy was kicking it by the window. And at this hospital, I'm not really sure why this uh, was a thing, but you were allowed. You had complete access to open the window and it wasn't even like it stopped a little bit after you opened it. It opened all the way. Stacy was getting ready to jump, for real. So I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I had to go back and tell the nurse now after I got Stacy back in the bed, we're gonna need a sitter. A sitter is somebody who basically sits at the bedside and makes sure that nothing dangerous happens. So the night was already off to a hippity hoppity hip start, okay? So they had to make me the, see the sitter until they can get a sitter from another unit to come. And the reason why they preferred for me to be on the floor and for somebody from another unit to come be the sitter is because I knew that unit. Anyways, so the night progresses, we got a sitter. We're thinking that things have slowed down a little bit here. What an interesting and far too hopeful thought that was. Hmm. Yeah. The entire night, our pregnant patient wasn't giving us any issues. We can call her Jennifer. Jennifer was cool. Jennifer was easy. Jennifer was taking care of her own self. She was there for uh, an arrhythmia. 
Um, honestly, at the time, as a CNA, that was really all I knew, that she had some sort of issue that was a history and it was rearing its ugly head at a very inopportune time during her pregnancy. And so she needed to be there with us. Let me tell y'all something about these different areas in the hospital. If you work in mental health, it is a very different field, very different avenue from maternal newborns, from telemetry or med surge or ICU. Yes, nursing is nursing is nursing, but specialties are special, okay? So it made a few of us a little bit nervous to have a completely separate specialty on a floor where we don't ever deal with that kind of stuff. We've never dealt with pregnant women. We don't have to. That's not what this floor is for. I'm saying all of this to say, Stacy started complaining of increased abdominal pain. The nurse that I was working with that night that, you know, the we work with different nurses. So let's say for example, this nurse has patients one, two, three, and four, and I'm covering patients one to 10. I will be working with the two nurses that have those group of patients. And so the nurse that was working with the pregnant woman, we can call her Kayla. Kayla is the nurse. Kayla starts getting nervous when Jennifer, the pregnant patient, starts complaining that she's having abdominal pain and cramping. Of course she gets nervous because she's not an OB nurse. So she pages the doctor, the OBGYN, okay? The doctor, apparently, didn't get nervous. He wasn't upset, he told her to do a few things, and apparently everything was totally fine. She was like, okay, I understand her nerves. You know, like this is a human being that we're taking care of. This isn't a dummy. If some, something were to pop off that is related to a field that you have no experience in, you have every right to be nervous, okay? Ain't no trial and error here, all right? Ah, da, 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 da. No. So then the charge nurse started trying to see if we can get an OB, like a, a L and D nurse to come down here and monitor the patient. And obviously that was denied. You know, they it was one of those Listen, we're all nurses. If you have an issue, you can call the doctor. We don't need to pull a nurse from a unit where a nurse is needed. Okay. Okay. Fast forward, things seem to have slowed down a little bit after those first two scares that we had, all right? This is, this is turning out to be a, a great shift. Anyways. Um, fast forward, Jennifer, the pregnant patient, mentions that cramping has increased, okay? And at the time, and honestly, still even now, because I don't have a whole lot of experience in L&D. We didn't know that homegirl was having contractions, okay? I clearly didn't know. I didn't know shit about shit, all right? I was a CNA and I wasn't even in nursing school yet. Kayla's nerves had returned, okay? She pages the doctor again. The doctor is now annoyed. And she's now even more nervous to give the doctor a call in the future if something were to pop off for real. That was very fitting, the sirens, because things are getting serious. So anyways, Kayla goes into the room to reassure Jennifer that everything is okay and she just spoke to the doctor, the OB that is following this patient. And Jennifer says, okay, you know, basically, I don't know the details, obviously, because I wasn't going into the room with her every single time she had the, the abdominal cramping, but moral of the little story here, you know, once the patient receives reassurance that the doctor thinks that everything is okay, she calms down. And so Jennifer, Jennifer's the patient, right? Jennifer's the patient. <laughs> Can't keep up with these names. Jennifer is reassured, Kayla goes back to work, and fast forward, we're now entering maybe the fifth, maybe sixth hour of the shift, all right? We're not even halfway through, and way too much has happened, all right? Jennifer, the pregnant patient, hits the call light and says, You know, the nurse told me that moving forward now, please let everybody know when I have to go to the bathroom, you know, just to be on the safe side, like before I get up and get out of the bed. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm like, all right, let me just help you get up. Let me disconnect you from the wires and we'll walk to the bathroom together. 
I walked to the bathroom. I was like, please don't close the door. Let's just crack the door and just, you know, holler. Say my name if you're starting to feel a little uncomfortable. And so maybe about 30 seconds goes by and I hear uh, a panicked screech. And I was like, oh God, I'm not fit for this. Whatever is going on in this bathroom. They're just a series of thoughts. I was like, Jennifer, are you okay? And she was like, ah, uh, it's fine, okay. I was like, Jennifer, please. Her water broke. Her water broke. The time has come to have a child. Her water mother freaking broke, y'all. Her water broke. So, her water broke. And <laughs> I panicked. Like a dumbass, I ran out the room and I was like, we have a problem. <laughs> so, Kayla runs into the room along with three other nurses and fast forward, um, we called a rapid, but that was the wrong thing to call at the time. We needed to call the OB team and apparently there was a different code for that. So there was a bunch of delay. Meanwhile, this lady is about to give birth on the toilet. A bunch of, I don't wanna say ill-equipped, but we were ill-equipped, like we didn't know. We didn't know. And that, I feel like that makes you a better nurse. Like, you don't know. We don't know, all right? Just say you don't know. And we've been trying to say that all night. We've been trying to prevent something like this from happening. Now there's a bunch of delays because everything that we tried to do to prevent the delays were shot down. Anyways, the OB was called, took a hot minute to get in touch with the OB. Nobody told us that the OB nurses basically deliver the baby and that the OBGYN comes in at the last minute. It was a hot mess, a hot mess. Long story short, Jennifer gave birth on the toilet. Baby came the frick out. In the midst of all that, in the mother frickin' toilet. I don't think y'all are understanding. In the toilet. Everyone's okay, baby's okay. Afterwards, mom and baby transferred to the correct floor for the correct people with the correct credentials to take care of her, but oh, what a night. Anyways, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching my crazy stories. Subscribe, hit that like button. Go read my books. Have a good night or day. Flushing out the black swimming pool in.